it was, it was just a way of life. I just presumed every man did that. Bob Henderson and John Watt were central figures in a scandal that rocked the legal establishment in the late 80s and 90s. It was called the Magic Circle Affair, a conspiracy theory that secretly gay senior legal figures were perverting the course of justice. Kenny Ferguson was an investigative journalist for Scotland on Sunday when the conspiracy theory took hold. It was called the Magic Circle because it made prosecutions disappear. BBC Disclosure has been investigating Bob Henderson and John Watt's roles in the Magic Circle affair, and we ask whether they used it as a smokescreen for child abuse. I do look back on, on Bob Henderson in particular and ask myself, did Henderson use the Magic Circle uh, to distract attention from another circle of criminality? And uh, I think he probably did. In 2014, years after the scandal and Bob Henderson's death, Susie went to the police to report her father and his associates' crimes. Susie's report led to a police investigation which resulted in John Watt's conviction last summer. I got a phone call from court to tell me that he'd been found guilty. Guilty for all charges. And I came off the phone and I just... The floodgates opened. I've been believed. I'm so glad that it's over. I'm so glad it's finished. It, uh, I think it's a good turnout for justice. It's a good turnout for all of us. And um, let's just hope anything, nothing like that ever happens again. BBC Disclosures Beneath the Magic Circle Affair is on BBC iPlayer and on BBC One Scotland at uh, 10.40 on Tuesday the 31st of January. That's tonight. Now the time is 8.22 and Kay's up after us from 9.00. Uh, good morning to you both. Um, well, we are looking at, uh, this has kind of gone under the radar a little bit, but Edinburgh City Council has decided that Edinburgh should be the first European capital to sign a plant-based treaty, um, which would see hospitals, schools and nursing homes transition to a plant-based diet. So, is it time for Scotland to phase out meat? Are they leading the way? i uh, be very interested and get thoughts on that. There's quite a few people in the farming community who are not particularly impressed with this move. Yeah, I'd imagine. That's uh, no option, no meat option, just vegetarian if you're in a hospital or a school or... That is the way we're going. I mean, uh, there's no date on it no yet. No pescatarian, no fish there? Um, no, 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 no. Okay. So it'd be really interested to hear from people in the in the farming communities and fishing communities. Um, okay, oh, wait, wait. Of ratatouille, isn't there? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, wait, oh, wait, 592 is the number to call. Um, Mr. Blue's Guy Brian Gilmer is with us for our property surgery. Um, Paul McKenna is with us, world-renowned uh, hypnotherapist. He's going to free us from anxiety. Uh, just a small job he's taking on this morning. Um, and the best news of the day for me, undoubtedly, Marie Kondo, you know, the Japanese mm, queen yeah. of clean. She's got a messy house. She's had a yep. third We're child, going to be talking about that too. declared an amnesty. Who knew? So Three children. Collided. It means that you can't tidy too much. She's uh, collided with reality, hasn't she? I am so thrilled. Say. Yeah. So thrilled. Exactly. exactly. Okay. We're going to be we can't talk it. about it enough, as far as I'm concerned. Well, we're going to be Can talking you listen about to Paul McKenna? Yeah. Can you listen to Paul McKenna if you're driving? Um, He's not going to be hypnotising people on air. I don't, I don't think that's what hypnotism is anymore. Okay. I think it's a different thing. I think you used to go to the shows at the pavilion, yeah, didn't you? Or you ate an onion. Show, it's yeah. a whole different thing. <laughs> yeah, thanks. All right, Kate, we will speak to you again at nine. Thanks very much indeed for that. Phil is back now with more sport. Hello, again, Phil. Hello, Martin. Yes, the role the betting odds.